So there have been a lot of discussions the last several years about the meaning crisis, uh, as John, John Verveke calls it, um, where postmodern people are increasingly lacking a sense of orientation or archetypal ground. Our worldview is so fractured, fragmented, and relativized that there's no, uh, there has been no solid ground to stand on um, existentially and psychologically and spiritually. And now it seems like this meaning crisis has uh, metastasized or intensified, uh, or it's taken on a new face. We're now in a, a material crisis. And in so many ways, it's not like the broader ecological uh, unraveling of the planet, the ecological emergency. It's not like that wasn't already present and wasn't already in some sense central to the meaning crisis. But we're more aware now than ever before of the material crisis. We say it's due to the coronavirus, which most directly it is, but indirectly, what is the coronavirus? Indirectly, generally speaking, the coronavirus is the intrusion of Gaia into our hyper-rationalized uh, capitalist, um, techno-capitalist economy. Gaia has intruded the ecosystemic conditions that made our human economy possible though we pretended our economy was some sort of perpetual motion machine. Now we're realizing it's not. It doesn't run on the magic of money. The economy has always run on the magic of labor. Value is a product of labor. And, and it's not only human beings that labor, the whole earth labors, right? We are children of this planet. Gaia gave birth to our species like every other species. And we all belong to the same organism at the end of the day. The earth is the er organism, right? You are the er organism, the arche organism. We are all derivative of the earth and indigenous populations for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years, recognize that we are part of the earth in their mythology, in their ritual, in their culture. Modern people forgot that connection. We thought we had severed ourselves from our mother. We thought we had uh, first invented and then ended history and landed on the moon. We're on our way to colonize Mars. It's as if we convinced ourselves at some point um, that capitalism could continue indefinitely, even after the Holocaust, even after uh, the communist authoritarian regimes that murdered millions of people. Um, we're continuing, and I say communist as if it's the opposite of capitalist, but in both systems, communist and capitalist, you are talking about the centralization of the means of production in the hands of a few, whether it's the party or the billionaire club. Um, the power is in the hands of a few in capitalism crony capitalism, corporate capitalism, our system. And it's in the hands of a few in, in the examples of communist regimes in the 20th century. So how do we redistribute that power? Well, the meaning crisis wasn't enough. So now we have this matter crisis, <laughs> this life crisis, but it's always been part of the same earth emergency that modern people have initi initiated and are now suffering. Um, it's the intrusion of Gaia, right? That's what Isabel Stengers called it. Um, she was talking about this, you know, 15, more than 15 years ago. So here we are, uh, socially distancing, as we, for the first time, as a human species, face a single threat. Climate change wasn't enough for us, so now we got coronavirus forcing us to socially distance at the same time that it's forcing us to integrate our humanity. We're all in this together now. Our national borders, you know, can be shut, but it's too late. 
we're too interconnected. The virus and the economic impact of the virus have already shaken the entire world. And so now we're on our knees together. And the question is, which gods are we going to pray to in this moment? The old gods of capital, money, the god of the economy, of the market, or are we gonna pray to some new god or gods? What's Gaia's place in all of this? Are we not her guests on this planet? Might we benefit from trying to attune our way of life, our economy to her ecology? I suspect Gaia will be one of the new gods that we're praying to and no doubt there are others. So let's invoke them. Let's invoke new gods because uh, planetary transformation was on a trial run for a few decades there and now um, there's no choice. There's no choice anymore. Be well, stay well. Tell me what you think, what you feel. Peace.